Hey guys, this is Yana Perazzo, the Virtuosa, and I just wanted to say thank you so much. Thank you so much for voting for me. I am the number one women's wrestler in the entire world. We are in the age of the Virtuosa forever. <laughs>
um, and Santana Garrett had transformed my pants and, and really made them special. So what we did was um, took just my pair of black jeans that I had been wearing on Impact prior and took pieces of all of my championship gear. And, you know, the chains that were on my pants were from the jacket I wore at Bound for Glory last year. I had pieces of my two Impact t-shirts, but then also my Rick Rogers t-shirt that I wore the very first time I was on Impact Wrestling ever um, with me. I had you know, just, we wanted to make it special um, as a backup and I ended up wearing it on the pay-per-view. So um, that moment was super special to me because I I was wearing something super special to me. Uh, But then also I walked out and, um, you know, all day had been a disaster. So I was distracted from the fact that we were in the main event. And when I walked out there, it finally sunk in like, holy crap, we're closing this show. And there's, it was a packed crowd. It was sold out. Um, My brother was there. He had never seen me wrestle before, Um, you know, Steve Macklin had um, some of the uh, Marine Corps vets that he served in Afghanistan with with him there. Um, so the whole night was just super special. There was so much meaning in terms of like family with us. Um, for me, that when I walked out, my initial thought was like, don't cry. <laughs> and I'm such a crier. Um, I literally could cry right now if I let myself um, just talking about it. But um, it was so special to me. And it was just like, the culmination of everything that I've worked for over the past almost 10 years um, in one match. And it was, it was just the most incredible feeling ever. Which leads me to my next point. Sharing the spotlight with you was, in my opinion, and the opinion of the wrestling industry, one of the best of all times. Diona is one of the best today, but you were facing one of the greatest of all time, highly probable Mount Rushmore woman in the same ring with you, which made it even more special you gals kick it for almost 20 minutes, almost 20 minutes, 19 and something of pure, pure action. How important for you was sharing that spotlight with someone like Mickey James? I think that um, since Mickey James arrived to Impact Wrestling back in July, um, it's forced me to up my game. If I say I'm the greatest knockouts champion ever, and here I am wrestling one of the greatest knockouts champions ever, um, I have to up my game. I have to bring it up another notch with my intensity, with my gear, with my actual wrestling, um, because I'm in the li- in the ring with a living legend. And uh, you know, I take nothing away from Mickey to be in the ring with her and, and the story we were able to tell over the last you know, six or seven months has been um, life changing for me. And to be able to to pick her brain and ask her questions and see how she does what she does and really be a part of that process with her um, makes me a better human and a better wrestler. So uh, there's, there's very few people other than Mickey I would have wanted that moment to be with other than, you know, someone like Chelsea Green, who is my best friend, um, to be in there with Mickey and to get that moment with her and um, to be able to make history for real with her um, is, is, again, incredible. Um, and to stand across from her, someone who the fans are so behind, fans absolutely love, have been on this entire journey with her from day one um, and get to see the culmination of this this. Such, I mean, we told such an amazing story and it bled through so many different other promotions and so many different other stories that I was telling. Um, I think Impact really did such a tremendous job to build to a Texas death match. Um, first ever knockout Texas death match. So uh, yeah, I mean, Mickey is amazing. And um, I'm so honored to have been able to share that night with her. Uh, so Lucha Libre Line is, you know, a brand that is led in America. We have 19 years of history. And for the first time in our 19 years during our yearly awards or yearly poll, uh, a non-traditional company, as they label it, won something. And what was it? Uh, with almost 20,000 votes, people uh, voted Diona Purazzo, the best women uh, wrestler in <laughs> 2021. This is literally the first time that has happened Uh, In our brand, we've had people like Charlotte Flair. We have people, you know, from every single company won this war, uh, mostly focused on on the mainstream WWE and and their their stuff. But Diona Purazzo was all over the place this year and the Latin American fans recognized the Reina de Reinas champion. Uh, How does this make you feel that the fans of Latin America, you know, basically worship your art? Oh, um, that's that's amazing. Um, Seriously, like especially things that are fan voted, um, I appreciate that so so much, so tremendously because they they recognize the art 
and they recognize the talent and you know they pick their favorite so to be considered their favorite and to, to the number one women's wrestler in the world I mean that is incredible especially from you know a, an impact knockouts champion a former impact knockouts champion um you know I don't necessarily think impact gets all the credit it deserves for what we do and the stories we tell and and the um platform it gives so many of us so the fact that I've been able to kind of wave that banner all across the world and people are recognizing that um means I'm doing my job and I'm doing it well so um gosh I can't say thank you enough to everyone that voted for me um gracias and uh, I hope to be back um, in Mexico soon, defending my uh, Reina de Reina's championship for all of you. Let's play a little game, Diona. Knock, knock. Who's there? There's no door. They kick it out. I'm going to talk about the forbidden door. It got literally kicked the hell out of the building. I never expected that to happen. And now Mickey James, the Knuckles World Champion, will head to WWE with the Knuckles yeah. Champion for Royal Rumble, which leads a huge opportunity, not only for her, but for the rest of the knockouts division, which in my opinion is the best women's division in, in the world. I've stated this multiple times. For you as a performer that already, you know, was a part of WWE at one point of your career, seeing their, uh, their vision evolve, you know, more open into working with other companies and other people. How does this make you feel, you know, being a part of the knockouts division? Yeah, it, it, um, I was just as shocked when that announcement happened and they called Mickey James, the impact knockouts world champion on Friday night SmackDown, probably as equally as surprised as everyone else was. Um, Just the fact that we live in that world, that that is a possibility is amazing. And I think that it was even more shocking because, you know, WWE has a reputation for not playing well with others. Um, so the fact that they played with Impact Wrestling just a little bit um, is, is incredible. And what it does for our knockouts division is it 100% put more eyes on Mickey and I's main event match. 100% put more eyes on Hard to Kill and um, what Impact was presenting as a, not just our main event, but as the entire package of Hard to Kill. Everything that Impact has worked for on that pay-per-view was put on such a bigger platform. And I hope that, you know, people who tuned in just to see what would happen with Mickey and I stay because they see what a great product it is and, and maybe they hadn't been exposed to that prior. So um, I think that it, it was great that, we got that opportunity to put impact on Friday night SmackDown and um, hopefully the people that came for it stay, stay for the rest. I've never expected this to happen. And the interesting part is that with the previous uh, partnership with all of the wrestling, we didn't have the opportunity to see women shine as we wanted in that partnership. However, in this new no door policy, a woman is the first person taking the step saying, Hey, I'm going to be this person. I'm going to take the title with me. I'm going to bring it home. Uh, I'm going to bring it to the WWE. I'm going to represent my people. I'm going to wave the flag. And, you know, it's simply impressive. Before we go to your next question, I want to plug in something in Spanish, if you allow me. Sure. 21 y 22 de enero, January 21 and 22. Impact Wrestling regresa a donde? Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Directamente en el Charles Dodge Center en Pembroke Pines, Florida. Boletos a la venta ahora mismo en Ticketmaster para un día, para dos días 21 y 22 de enero en Florida, van a estar ahí disponibles después de mucho tiempo, Impact regresa de una apurazo en acción, Chelsea Green eh, Mickey James, Moose, Matt Cardona W. Morrissey, Eric Young Heath. y si sigo me voy a agotar, hay un montón de superestrellas, así que 21 y 22 la cita es directamente en Florida así que a todos los boricuas, a los puertorriqueños, a los mexicanos a todos los salvadoreños, a todos los chilenos, a todos los latinos que hay en Florida, que hay una comunidad bastante grande están allí, lleguenle, disfrútense el show en Fort Lauderdale, allí en Florida, en el Charles Dodge Center en Pembroke Pines, Florida, boletos a la venta a través de Ticketmaster. Otra cosa más, Rebellion, el 23 de abril en Poughkeepsie, New York. Muy pronto van a salir información de boletos y al igual que para adquirir el evento en Fight TV. Jueves en la noche, every single Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 8 de la noche, hora del este, todos los jueves, Access TV y el canal de YouTube de Impact Wrestling para su programación semanal a través de una suscripción desde solo un dólar hasta solo cinco dólares. 
puedes interactuar con las superestrellas y tienes toda la programación de la semana, hasta PTI incluida entre todo el proceso. Shopimpact.com para las t-shirts de, 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 de una purazo y del resto del roster. Y ebay.com slash Impact Wrestling para mercancía, memorabilia y todas las cosas, los artículos que tengan firmado Impact Wrestling. Diona, before we go to our last question, uh, I wanted to thank you very much for your time uh, and for your patience, uh, once again, you know, for being us uh, with us here, Lucia Libro Line. Last but not least, no forbidden door. Impact is at its best moment, the best women's division in the whole planet. 2022 is, you know, looking even brighter than 2021 for La Virtuosa. Yeah. So what can we expect from you this year? Oh my goodness. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I, uh, you know, my goal for 2021 was to, to main event a pay-per-view and now I've gotten to do that. Um, I think that if I had to, if you're putting me on the spot, I have to pick a goal for 2022. It's going to be to be the champ champ yet again. I am wrestling, uh, Roxy, the, uh, ring of honor world women's champion this Thursday night on access TV. Um, so I want to break her arms. I want to be the champ champ. I want to finally be the ring of honor women's world champion. Um, that's eluded me since 2015. Um, so I want that. And then I also want to be the triple crown champion. I want to, um, find a tag partner. Chelsea Green. Um, I want to become the Impact Knockouts Tag Team Champions. And then maybe I want also to uh, face Jordan Grace, who is the current social uh, digital media champion um, at Impact Wrestling and uh, be the, the Triple Crown winner, win all of the titles that I possibly can. I mean, there's a woman <laughs> that already got the main title or the world title. Why not Diona Purazzo do that and at her rhythm? That's a possibility. Yeah. Um, world championship i want uh all the championships for well i mean maybe who knows the the social media the digital media champion um can be won and defended by anyone regardless of gender so um i mean there's a possibility <laughs> We can expect everything to happen in 2022. El 2022 es más brillante que nunca, que nunca para la virtuosa. Diona, we thank you very much for your time. Always wishing you success in your career and in your personal life. And thank you very much. Let's wrap this up en español. Esta fue la virtuosa de Ana Purazo y Michael Morales Torres para Lucha Libro Online, la marca número uno de Pro Wrestling y Combat Sports en español.